Hello, Literatures of the World class. Um, our discussion for today, <laughs> is Bonsai by Edith Tiempo. Um, please do not mind the background noise. Mga iro nga na maghut o kanang music sa gawas. Okay, so when you first read Bonsai, I know nga it can be very confusing. Not because the words are very difficult, but because of the metaphors. Okay, in ikabasa nato, for sure, kay bawta nga, it's it, there's a deeper meaning behind it. So let's try to see what it's all about. So its theme is about love in general. So it could be romantic love, it could be love towards your family, towards your parents, your siblings, love towards your friends, and also the people loving you. Um, why is the poem entitled Bonsai? When in fact, when you read the whole thing, there is no mention of bonsai. So let's try to find that out. The first stanza, it goes, um, All that I love, I fold over once and once again, and keep in a box or a slit in a hollow post or in my shoe. What does that mean? Nga, tana na tong gihigugma. Of course, we love a lot of people. We love a lot of things. If you think all about that, daghan kayo, right? You think of ang atong mama, atong papa, our siblings, our friends, our classmates, also the things that you love. Um, what is it that you love to do? You love singing, you love cooking, uh, you love reading, whatever that is. So if you think all about that, it's very overwhelming. Uh, daghan kayo, taghigugma. So what does that mean? At what point in our lives do we say nga, Kung pwede pa lang, tanan akong gigugma, I can just put it in one place. What do you think does that mean? Of course, since wala man mo, ako rin mo-answer sa akong question. <laughs> um, change is inevitable. Meaning to say, at some point in our lives, we will have to go to our own special path. Um, we have to say goodbye and go on our separate ways from the people that we love. Your best friend from elementary, high school, college may not be the best friends that you will also have. Or let's say, for example, you can still definitely keep the relationship, pero you just need to have your separate adventure. Um, I remember when I was in college, my barcada and I, we just finished having our picture taken and a graduation picture taken and we were hanging out in this coffee shop and all of a sudden one of my friends um she started to cry ningon siya nga um lahi na tag schedule dili na ta parihag mga klase lahi lahi na tag mga trabaho and we don't know nga when ta sunod makita and all of us got emotional about that and we made this pact we promised three things to each other and they were ang first one kay um dapat mag meet once a month next was that if naay mo gawas sa Cebu dapat ingnan ang tibuok barkada and of course we're going to have dinner together and the third one was that if na nagani usa nga padung makauyab dapat iila-ila usa sa barkada before sugton so those were our three promises to each other and none of those promises actually happened we barely saw each other may nalang ganing makita me three times in a year but every time we see each other it does not mean that the friendship became less in fact we just picked up from where we left off bully uh, gahapon me towards each other gahapon so the friendship at, not at all. It did not become less. Um, but ingonana, some of us um, already have kids. Um, some of us already got married. Some of us we all have our different adventures. So, what that stanza is saying is that it's impossible that you keep a person at the same space your entire life. Sorry, I'm coming up the tayo. Um, you keep a person your entire life in that one space like you don't want your parents to say diba nga nak love kay takaso ayaw lag skwila ayaw lag kaminyo ari lang ka of course not 
Um, but it's basically saying, ah, kung pwede pa lang, every time I'm about to miss you, I always know where to look for you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, kung pwede pa lang, when I'm about to miss you, I always know where to look for you. And we feel that way, right? Kay kibaw tanga sa atong kinabuhi. Moments passes by. All of them are, are fleeting. So there's always that longing and that wish nga you don't ever be, get separated by the person that you love. But of course, life is not like that. Love life is ever changing. Uh, and the next stanza it goes all that I love why yes uh, for the moment and for all time both when does that happen when does for the moment and for all time when do they intersect when do they happen at the same time all that I love why yes for the moment and for all time both when we think about love we like to think of an occasion uh, we think about kung forever. Okay, let's think about forever when a mother gives birth to her baby, or the marriage, or the getting engaged, or uh, all of those moments you're in, you celebrate in a grandiose way. And like, take for example, we celebrate love. Let's say Valentine's Day, and on Valentine's Day, you you see on Facebook nga you surprise jud ang babae, and then you have bouquet of roses and napay sign sa luyo niya. All of those grand gestures. But if you think about it, true love it's already happening to you. It's just that our standards become skewed because of the things that we see online or the romantic movies or the romance novels that we read but if we think about true love it's already happening and it doesn't have to be romantic for there to be true love in your life true love is your mother making you breakfast very early in the morning uh, if you think about it bago pa kamata wala pa kay ligo na pa kay muta baho pa yung bakba and it's 4 a.m. But then when you go to the kitchen, you see your mother already cooking breakfast for the family. And when you look at her, you just don't think, I love her because she's my mother. But you think, I love my mother right now because she loves us so much. And for the most part, she puts us before her. And then you know, wow i love my mother especially in this moment and it's in moments like that that moments of now that you get to say why you will love someone forever so it's actually love happening in the most ordinary days in the most ordinary moments and that is already true love uh, true love is every morning your father bringing you to school that's true love um, true love is your classmates still giving you paper even though the entire school year you didn't bring paper that's already true love so stop looking for true love in romance stop looking for it in grand gestures true love is happening every day and it is in those very small moments that actually leads you to say why you will love someone for eternity uh, next stanza you have something that folds and keeps easy so what are those things it's sun's note dad's one goddy tie a roto picture of the queen a blue indian shawl even a money bill so those things these are examples of mga butang kuno nga dali lang matago uh, dali lang mafold uh, we all have those things right why is it nga when you go to a movie with someone special you keep the movie tickets uh, when you have dinner with someone that you really like you you take the the food receipts and you don't throw it away tagaan kag chocolates na ni mong chocolates you don't throw away the wrapper tagaan kag buwak patay na ang buwak pero you don't throw away you hold on to it it's because now we've associated these things that we shared with someone we love we call them uh, objects with sentimental value and those objects if not still a sentimental value it's even more important than the expensive things so kana di ay mga mga kaning mga butangan ay sentimental value 
uh, they're very important and they are what we consider our treasure. Kaya naman, every time we see those objects, when it comes to time, uh, things that are happening right now, it will definitely pass and it will never go back to the way it was before. But if you have those objects, you have proof that it happened. And for that moment, you are actually very loved and you remember what it felt like to be loved and to, and to be happy. Um, also, you associate it with that moment. It's like a time machine. You can go back to it. So it's proof of being loved and it's the feeling of being loved. And kinda, it's a time machine. So even though time never freezes at a certain moment that you want it to, you know that it happened. That's the representation for all of those objects and if you think about your sentimental objects they they're not mostly expensive um, some of us keep handwritten letters pictures a handkerchief no <laughs> um, dead flowers chocolate wrappers all of those things they are our treasure because they make us feel love they they make us remember the person who gave it to us or we share that moment with so there are always ways that we cheat time and temporariness uh, and love can do that and the next stanza uh, unsa may gingon uh, that I, something that folds and keeps easy uh, ang sunod is it's utter sublimation a feat this heart's control so sublimation um, daghan ka yung emotions and they're, they're very intense um, that's also something that happens to human beings. We feel so many things at the same time. It could be happy and sad at the same time, or happy but frustrated at the same time. So that's also very true as a human being. So it's utter sublimation, a feat this heart's control. Unsa man ang feat this heart's control. So it is an achievement to be able to control your heart. Why is it an achievement to be able to control your heart? Because first off, it is difficult to control your heart. Sometimes it feels like your heart is a separate entity from who you are. It's wild. Uh, it feels things that you don't want to feel sometimes. So yes, it's an achievement in that manner. But at the same time, it is an achievement because if you think about love, you want to think of it as something abstract nga dili ni mo siya magunitan and you think of it in a very overwhelming way nga dako kay ang gugma you cannot hold it in your hand in fact when we think about love we often relate it to sayings like i will cross oceans for you i will move mountains for you but what this poem is saying and that's why it's entitled bonsai is that no love does not necessarily have to be so big you can see it you can touch it in fact on sa tong sunod sa stanza moment to moment to scale all love down to a cupped hand size na love ko no you can actually shrink it to a cupped hand size and that is already a true representation of love um, that's why it's entitled bonsai because when we think of a tree we like to think of a tree that is so big and will stand under its shade so you think of a tree that's what we usually think of but what if the tree is shrunk into the size of a bonsai is it any less of a tree so just like love what if love is shrunk into a cup hand size is it any less of a love if your parents can only give you 20 pesos for your baon. Does it mean that they love you less? If you can only have second-hand clothes, bags, shoes, does that mean that you are less loved? No, definitely not. So, love is actually found in a 20 peso bill. Love is found in your mother cooking breakfast. Love is found in second-hand stuff. Love is happening already every day in the most ordinary moments in the simplest of days and we just don't notice it because we take it for granted or we look for it in the wrong places or the wrong people or always in grand gestures um until seashells are broken pieces from god's own bright teeth and life and love are real things you can run and breathless hand over to the merest child so 
till seashells are broken pieces from God's own bright teeth. If you think about God, wa na mula ba sa ginoo, Almighty, all powerful, and we like to think of God as also something abstract nga. Uh, so big and so enormous and so powerful but what this poem is saying is that God can also be found in the simplest of objects that God God's teeth are already seashells and you can find God everywhere in the simplest of things you can see him in a leaf or a branch or a flower or somebody's hand diba? God can actually be found in the simplest of objects, in the simplest of things, in the most ordinary days as well. Um, and life and love are real. Nga, ingon si Edith Tiempo, life and love are real. Nga, ang kinabuhi, ugang gugma, tinuod. And then she says, life and love are real things. Nga, ang kinabuhi, ugugma, tinuod nga, butang. And you already have it. Again, it's the 20 peso bill, it's the handkerchief, it's the baon, it's on sa pa, pagkaon, ngagihatag sa imuhang brother or sister. You already have all of those things. You are already very loved. Life and love are real things. You can run and breathless hand over to the merest child. So why would you give it to a child? Why not an adult? Because a child is so pure and innocent that when he or she is given love, she receives it as it is. Uh, does not feel the need even to say, I love you back. Just that if you love me, okay, accept love. You love me. Um, so what I want for you to take away with this poem is that all of us have bonsai moments. Love nga, we take for granted because it happens in the simplest of days, in the most ordinary moments. And I want you to think, what is your bonsai moment? What is that one moment that is so ordinary and so simple? But if you think about it, it's actually true love. Um, I'll share with you mine. Um, I don't remember telling my grandmother that I love her. But I remember it was late at night. I was around five years old and my parents didn't come home yet. And she was cooking me dinner and I asked her what it was she was cooking. It's escabeche. And I said, "Iyo, kaya arti ako sa una. Iyo <laughs> isda, diyo ganag isda. Ang kanon na ako sa isda sa una kaya ang mata." But then si Lola said, "No, this is special. Special ni siyang isda." And she was actually cooking me escabeche. And yung gisagula ng patis ang ang kanon uh, sauce sa escabeche, ang fish gihan niya, and then she fed me using her hand. And up until now. It's still the best fish that I've ever had in my entire life. Why? Mula ba sa escabeche ni Lola? And I know that I never got to tell her that I love her. But it's that one small moment, me, my grandmother, and that escabeche, that we know that there is love. That I, I loved my mother and she, grandmother, and she felt that. And vice versa. Uh, what about you? What is your bonsai moment? What is that very small moment that you know is actually true love?